Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101, I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants lost to the Diamondbacks today, 7-2. Anthony DiSclefani pitched well until the 6th inning when the bases were loaded against him. He wasn't able to get an out. Then he had some issue with his toe and he had to come out of the game. Scott Alexander replaced him and he couldn't get the job done. He allowed all three runs to score and... The Diamondbacks ultimately won the game. Giants only got two runs total. J.D. Davis had a sacrifice fly in the first. Actually, it was a double play, but a run got home. Wilmer Flores had an RBI double in the eighth inning. It's interesting that Casey Schmidt had two hits again today. He, he's His stuff at the plate just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, I would say the only odd thing about the process of bringing him onto the roster was Darren Ruff was designated for assignment when his OPS was above 700. I mean, it, it was a move worth making, but whether that was the, you know, the, the best roster cut for the Giants to make, I mean, I don't know. It, it seems like there'd be better options of players to designate for assignment, um, but... As it is, Schmidt's up, and he is really killing it with the bat. But I, I think the real disappointment today was with Anthony DiSclefani pitching, it's like you have to win those games because as it is, the Giants rotation isn't as good as, as what we want it to be, as, as what we thought that it should be. But so you really got to expect them to win when it's, like the top two or three guys pitching. That's Logan Webb and Anthony DiSclefani and Alex Cobb, I think. But when they don't, that's that's what's a disaster. Still, the Giants have a chance to split this series. I believe that Logan Webb's on the mound tomorrow, so that we see that that is their chance to split this series. He, he's going to have to pitch well and pitch deep into the game. I, I, I mean... You're just talking about going deep into the game, and that was what DiSclefani wasn't quite able to do today because of his injury, and my guess is it probably had an effect on his his pitching in the sixth inning, so if it weren't for that, would he have made it through seven or eight? I, I, think, that's, I, I think that's highly possible, and I mean... You could potentially have a different outcome to the game. I, I mean, in total, the the uh, D backs scored seven runs, but their first three, I, I think their first three came in the sixth. Um, so, yeah, where the. I would say the outing before last, because, I mean, last outing, Di Sclafani pitched deep into the game, but. Trouble was, he couldn't keep runs off the board, at least not in the first. Game before that, though, it, it was impressive. I, I think it was at least seven innings that he went. It, it might have been more. It, it might have been. I, I don't remember now, but he went deep into that game, and that, that's what won it for the Giants. And his failure to do so today was what lost it for the Giants. See, back when I was talking about that from a positive perspective after those wins that the Giants got because their starters were able to pitch deep into the game. One of the reasons I mentioned that was so beneficial, and we know it's it's partly because, well, obviously just keeping the bullpen fresh is always a good thing, but one of the reasons I mentioned why that was so beneficial was that, well, do we really trust the bullpen right now? I mean, it can be kind of shaky. It, it just turned out to be completely true today, and that's exactly the way it worked when when DiSclefani wasn't able to go deep into the game. So honestly, I think that is what killed the Giants today. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.